this is my very first time making these and there's gonna be some fails and there'll be some success. I'll be using some walnut, maple, and ash for these. Today, we're turning these pieces of wood into some deviled egg trays. All I'm using to do that is some paper templates that I printed out and some carving paper that I've used to transfer these designs onto the pieces. Then I cut them out on my scroll saw and now we're ready to carve. Now these are not perfect. You can definitely use a CNC to cut out these circles or you can use a template, I can link it to here, that you would just tape it on and use a router to flush trim it perfectly cylinder. So this one though, I wanna do super rustic because I want you to see what it could look like if you don't have all the other tools. So let's jump in. So the first thing I did was trace these templates onto the pieces of wood and got them on the scroll saw to cut them out. Now, I wish I had done the carbon paper in advance, so I recommend doing that for yourself. So that way you can do all of the little outlines for the eggs at the same time instead of having to put the paper back on it and line it up. So there's a little thing I wish I had done. I also wish I recorded me doing the roundovers, but hey... You get the idea. So here is the carbon paper that I use. That's actually a pack I've had for many, many years. And it's great. You can reuse it until you can't. Um, and it just makes it really easy to trace on those templates. So once your templates are all set and traced on, I moved on to the carving part. And you'll see as I'm carving, I am using just one tool to hollow out all of these little, essentially like spoon holes, but our little egg holders. I'm using a roto saw and then I'm hitting it with a white sphere to smooth it all out. So essentially it's very similar to carving spoons. I'm making essentially six to eight little spoons on each one of these trays. And then I put a little circle in the middle. So in case people have a different dip or some kind of spice or seasoning they wanna put in there, they can do that. It also looks like a painter's palette, which is like super fun. Um, this took not too long to be honest and I did have to go through and add black marker on some of them because it got really hard to see the actual lines when I was in the midst of carving. One thing I often recommend is getting a whisper grit for your tools because it helps out tremendously before you get into the sanding process. All right, so we're at the point now that we have all of the shapes done and we are ready for sanding. Now you can do an ornamental edge on this. I've seen people go in and they kind of make like a little loop around each one of these eggs. It's all up to you and how you want your final piece to look. I'm gonna go ahead and sand these all out, see what I think of the final piece and decide if I'm gonna be adding any kind of fun edging to this piece. Now, I did have a fail. So I tried to design you all a little mini one. I think this is gonna be way too tiny. I'm gonna still sand it and go through the whole process, but I do think that uh, the eggs are gonna just be too tight. If you look at each one of these circles, they, uh, they're they a little too close. So again, I'll finish it up, but this is my very first time making these and there's gonna be some fails and there'll be some success. So let's see how this all goes and I'm glad you're here to join me. I didn't record the sanding process because it can be a little bit boring, but just know after I went through my sanders, I did go in and do some final sanding by hand. I then finished this with a food safe finish. You can use whatever brand you like, but here is our final outcome. I really love the way these different types of wood pop and it's time now to test these out with some deviled eggs. You can see that the ones that hold eight are really nicely spaced. Mm, these look yummy. They're really fun. The smaller mini one is definitely a lot more congested. I'm going to spread it out just a little bit more. I really hope you enjoyed this project. I'm going to tweak this file just a little bit more to give it a little bit more space around the edges so that way the eggs have some room and they're not touching so much. But otherwise, if you'd like to use these templates, I'll have a link to them in our notes. And if you do create your own templates, I would love to see those. So don't forget to tag us if you do create these. We want to see them. We want to share them. So please tag us on social media. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss the next project. Thank you again for watching and happy carving.